Hi, my name is Crystal with PMC Supplies, and today is going to be all about our jeweler's saws and saw blades. It seems simple enough at first glance, but knowing the correct saw and blade to choose can be overwhelming. The right choices will be very helpful in elevating your next project. So how do you know which one is right for you? The choices can seem endless when trying to decide which saw and which size blade is correct for your particular project. The size of your jeweler's saw blade depends on the thickness of the metal you'll be cutting. Your blade choice also depends on what size line you want to cut. There are usually about four or five different sizes that would be appropriate for any given task. Think of cutting wood. If you have a large log you're trying to cut in half, you wouldn't use a tiny hacksaw with a thin blade and tiny teeth. You would probably dull the blade before you even got an inch through it. Instead, you would use a typical handsaw, a big metal one with large teeth. It makes sense. Likewise, if you wanted to cut a thin dowel rod, you'd want a smaller saw. It's the same concept for choosing your jeweler's saw blade. If it's too big for the metal, it could catch and grab, possibly ruining your work. If it's too small, it will be ineffective and your blade will dull in no time. A great way to choose the correct saw blade is to have three teeth on the metal thickness. So if the sheet is thicker, the blade will be coarser. But you probably don't want to be using a microscope every time you need to see three teeth on a four-odd blade. Not to mention there's a wide variety of blades you can choose from and still have success while cutting. Sometimes, for instance, you'll want a thicker blade for a thicker line, or perhaps you only have one blade on hand to work with. Luckily, we have a chart to make life easier. If you'd like to see the chart in more detail, see the link in the description below. Jeweler's saw blades are sized on a scale. Consider the number zero to be the middle of the scale. Larger blades are subsequently numbered number one, number two, number three, and so on. The higher the number, the larger the blade. Smaller blades are numbered one ot, two ot, three ot, and so on. Think of these as fractions. The higher the number, the smaller the blade. Don't be afraid to try blades that aren't appropriate for your metal gauge. You'll notice a difference in the cutting, but it's not impossible. Do what works best for you. We carry all types of blades at PMC Supplies, all of which you can find at pmcsupplies.com. And as always, we offer free shipping. We carry Pike, our high quality Swiss blades, Form de Art, Crocodile, Relentless, Antelope, Penguin Spiral, and Diamond Coated. And we also offer value blades. Each package contains 144 blades, also called a gross. And then inside each packet, they're wrapped in bundles of 12. We also carry all kinds of accessories to hold your blades. So if you're just starting out and you don't want to purchase a package of 144 of the same size blade, we also offer assortment packs. When it comes to jeweler saws, we offer an assortment of sizes and styles. For example, some with larger depths, or throats, and some with smaller. And all of them could be easily adjusted to varying heights. We have traditional jeweler saws that you simply unscrew to insert the blade. And we have an upgraded version with the tension screws to help secure the blade a little bit easier. So now let me demonstrate for you how to put a blade into a traditional jeweler saw. And take a blade, insert it into the bottom. So you want to make sure the teeth are facing towards the handle. We're going to secure the blade and then we're just going to tighten the bottom. So I like to have the blade just touching the top here. And then we're going to secure the screw in the back of the saw. So we're going to apply a little bit of pressure with my body just against the saw itself and then we're going to tighten. Okay. Making sure it's nice and secure. So now I'm going to demonstrate how to insert a blade on the upgraded jeweler saw with the tension screws. And I'll show you how it makes this a little bit easier. So we're going to take our blade and again making sure the teeth of the blade are facing the handle. And we're going to go ahead and insert it into the base. So this little 
and we start to tighten the bottom screw. And the top. So we'll be able to do that at the same time. Making sure the one in the back is secure. So this time, we're gonna go directly to the top and start to tighten that screw on top. And your blade is nice and tight. So this tension screw here at the top is actually what makes this a little bit easier. On the previous model you saw, I had to take it and apply pressure with my body a little bit into the table. With the tension screw at the top, it basically eliminates that step. And remember, all of these products are available for purchase on pmcsupplies.com. Stay tuned for more videos. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.